How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. So we just got some brand new chairs in and unfortunately they're not as comfortable as I wanted them to be. But that's also probably because we haven't really assembled them yet. So yeah, Cougar sent over two of their chairs. They sent over the Armor Titan Pro and then also their Ranger, which this one is more of just normal gaming chair. And this one is a sofa. So. I'm actually really looking forward to checking this one out. But on social media, I asked you guys which one you would like to see first. And most of you said you will like to see the armor up at the Titan Pro first. So in this video, we're going to compare. We're going to check this one out first. And then in a different video, the armor, but the Ranger. The Ranger. But we'll also compare them uh, against each other in the Rangers video as well. Because it's the first time that I'm actually seeing a more of a sofa chair. So. I'm really looking forward to seeing actually how it sits and how it looks and everything. So yeah, let's get into that. All right, so let's quickly move them more towards the side out of the way. <laughs> All right, <guys. laughs> that's out of the way. Now let's quickly get a knife or something. I think this will work. <laughs> the last time I used it was white. <laughs> Luckily, no. All right, cool. So we're, again, we're going to start with the uh, the Titan Pro first and then move on towards the uh, the Ranger. So the knife isn't really that sharp at all. It used to be sharp. It, it used was to be. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Is that a spoon <laughs> or a knife? There we go. All right, so let's quickly see what's inside. Now, this is a chair that has been to a few other reviewers. So don't expect your packaging to exactly look like this. They'll probably be a lot neater. So because they'll probably do what I'm doing. Just throw everything on the side. <laughs> All right. So first up, we're going to just do an installation and everything. And then we're going to get into actually how it sits and all of that. So if you guys want are struggling to install it yourselves, then hopefully this video will be helpful, but I kind of doubt it. Is that a Beyblade? It's a shield. Oh. It's actually... It's a useless shield. There's <laughs> everywhere. It's a shield you get on an MMO that for some reason actually has a lot of defense. <laughs> All right, but this is the under uh, plate for the, uh, for the wheels. It's actually pretty heavy. Full metal digging that so a lot of time they're actually really cheap the, the the bottom section but I'm glad to see that the the Titan Pro is not and then we get to the backrest which I'll have to open up from this side we, we <laughs> reviewed this before you did a, a lot went through a lot of effort to be back in. <laughs> thank thank you for that <laughs> There we go. Look at this bulging muscles. Oh yeah. <laughs> Went to the gym the once. <laughs> that is uh, the back section. Nice and stiff. Kind of nice polar, uh, lumbar support here. And it is leather with some velour here on the side. Alcantara is nice. Alcantara, it feels pretty nice there. Uh, at the back, you do have your, your neck rest, which usually is just like a small pillow. But this one is actually quite a bit larger. So we're going to see how that feels. Uh, speaking about packaging, I'm really wondering if we're, we're going to be able to put everything back exactly like it was. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's get out the bottom section. I think First. Tank was a chair packer back in the day <laughs> or something. All right, so we got our armrest here Ooh, it's actually like a gold got some gold on there that's pretty neat and it, same here as well wow that is really nice looks neat and then the bottom section the bottom, bottom. Section <laughs> the, the bottom, bottom. <laughs> play the meme <laughs> bottom <laughs> all right cool ah. Maybe. We've also got some like gold stitching on this. Like everything has a bit more gold. 
it actually looks pretty cool. So usually they're what uh, they're orange, um, but luckily they went to different colors as well. And I'm actually digging this color quite a bit, uh, the black and some gold stitching because it's subtle, but it looks really nice. The velour, the velour, it feels so nice and soft. But it's luckily it's not the entire section. I haven't really sat on a chair with entirely velour, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is. Let's put this just there for now. And lastly, the manual, which we'll probably need. But first, I'm gonna try it on my own. All right, so we got some of the other sections for the chair. We got our wheels. Oh, don't fall out. Got all of our nice. Not the nice. Yeah, I would have liked if it was more of the um, the scooter yeah, wheels, the roller, skate wheels. the roller skate wheels. Those ones are quite nice, but you'll probably be able to get um, different ones as well. So do have that. Just put that to the side. All of your little screws, don't lose those. Get this one, and then you actually get some gloves. Yeah, you Watch. need that for the Rona. I'm gonna. Dual, <laughs> old school. Five minutes later. We're gonna do this properly. We already took like everything out, so not sure what the use is for this now, but they gave it, so let's, yeah, I'm not gonna be a doctor. 20 minutes later. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> and then we just have our piston. Don't want to dirty the gloves. That's probably why they gave me So, I'd, so they give me cloth gloves, so I don't mess up my hands or filthy off my hands. But the gloves, it's fine. All right, then we have our bottom section. I don't exactly know what you call this, but. You, like all of your controls here, yeah. the base. Let's uh, quickly see if we can install it further. We're going to do the, the wheels and everything first and then move on to the rest. All right. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, the bottom section first and then I put on, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to work on the ground because it's easier and then put on the back rest. But first we are going to need all of our the little screws and uh, filters and all of that here towards the side. You do have the inclusion of a large Allen key screwdriver. But anyway, all right, so let's quickly install the backrest. We're gonna put it there so it needs to line up with the screws here on this side. Can you see there and there? All right, so first up, you're gonna take your screw, put in the little protector washer key thingy and then the washer and then you are going to insert it there so for now I'm gonna do the next one the gloves aren't that <laughs> that easy to use All right, so that's the one side. Now let's move on towards the other side. Uh. All right, so next up, we're going to put on the covers here for the sides. We're going to use these small little screws and then cover them up with these uh, covers. So these ones are just normal start point so all we need to do is on this section here at the bottom then this one goes there so. you look like mickey mouse with the white gloves <laughs> there it goes so that one is in now we're just going to take Small little cover here. There we go. Then same for the other side. Same for the other side. All right. So next up, we're gonna put install the 
bottom section and uh, the armrest. So we're just going to drop this back and then we can just take this one. And again, the nice large screws with all of the filters and everything. All right, so do make sure that this is the front side. So front over here, you guys can see front. So this is going to face upwards. So we're quickly going to install that. All right, so we installed the bottom section right here again, front facing frontwards, make sure of that. And then we're going to install the armrest now. So they also do have left and right printed on them. So make sure you install them and the right side. So this one is going to go that side because left is right, but left is not right. So. <laughs> All right, so this one is gonna go over here again, exact same screws. So let's quickly install them. All right, so we did find that one of the washers are missing but that's not too big of a deal again this has been through a bunch of different re reviewers so stuff always gets lost but yours should be fine Phew. that's a lot of work Are you tired? i'm tired it's actually crazy how much work it is to build a chair <sighs> yeah but you see you build the chair so you can relax on it afterwards <laughs> True. Especially in an art chair like this. True. Have to put in the effort to get all of the goodies. All right, now I just need to find out which one is which one. All right, so we'll figure these ones out once we actually have the, once we sit on the chair. So next up, we have our shield. The Beyblade. The Beyblade. <laughs> Massive Beyblade, which we're going to install all the wheels on. There we go. And now our Beyblade has some wheels. It's actually pretty nice. Ooh. I mean, this is on a carpet. It's on a carpet, yeah, definitely. So the chair I have now uses similar wheels, but they're horrible. They really struggle. So this is actually not bad so far. So we'll see, maybe it's not really even needed to uh, get some of the larger scooter wheels. Yeah. Press the eject button. Press the button. Don't press the red button. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so just, yeah, the piston goes in here. All right, so now all we need to do is put the chair on. The massive chair, which I can't even see. There we go. That's in, I think. Is it in? It is in. <laughs> All right, so our first time sitting on the Titan Pro. All right, so we're done with the armor chair. Uh, now we're gonna move on towards the Ranger sofa, which I'm actually looking forward to quite a bit more. So gotta trust the <laughs> very sharp knife again, which hopefully will work a bit better this time. So apparently this one is retailing for around 4,500 Rand. I'm not sure about dollars. Let's see if we can open it up. So it's expensive, but not too expensive really for a gaming a chair. Um, and the the Titan Pro is around what, 8,000 Rand? Yeah, it's around 330 dollars. So yeah, so it's almost rough, probably double, almost double the price. So we'll see. It'll so probably be around two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty, probably. Yeah. Well, we'll just flash it where it is. Uh, so first up, we do have our legs here at the bottom, and then we have the backrest, also in gold. All right, so you do get a few different colors. You, uh, we have the royal here, which is the gold one. But you also get the Avo, which is like pink, and then there's a blue and a green version and a normal orange version as well. Um, I'm not sure about the names for those, but yeah, you do have quite a few options. All right, so this is 
lumbar support, I believe. Just throw it there for now. All right, so let's see if I can get it out. There we go. It's actually not that heavy. Looks a lot heavier, but there it is. All right, so let's just see. I can get all the plastic off. All right, so just got another delivery and it's another Titan Pro chair. So we're not gonna open this one right now because we have that one, but yeah. One, two, so we're gonna test a <laughs> three. <laughs> so we're gonna test both of them out, me and the one. So our ass is not gonna feel real nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's quickly go on it with the uh, Ranger and then later on we'll, we'll probably do that in behind the scenes, whatever. But also we actually got some package right here. Uh, so also from the guys at Tech Traders who does Cougar here in South Africa, but they also do some other brands as well, like T-Force. So I think this is the T-Force stuff. Where's my knife? All right, so yeah, we got some T-Force stuff. So we got the CX-2 uh, Classic SSD. Got some Vul Vul Vulcan Z RAM, which these are more budget-friendly RAM. We also have the T-Force Extreme RGB RAM that we also actually took a look at a while back. We did the standard ones. So this is the white Aura version. Yeah, so. we did the blue ones. No, the black ones. It's a blue. Oh, yeah, it's a dark, dark, yeah, it's black blue. blue. <laughs> so, got the white version here. And then also, we got a flash drive because it has RGB. <laughs> <laughs> so, I uh, will probably do this in like a cool tech video, but it's very interesting. So, the colors differ of how full the flash drive actually is. So, a nice little indicator. And we have actually been using flash drives a lot more recently, some of these larger, faster ones. So, Yeah, so, all right, so that was just a quick unboxing. Now let's move on to the chair again, the sofa again. All right, so let's be, get this one out. I have no idea how. So I think I kind of figured it out. Does it slide on? No, so there's things in here. See, while I was getting all of the stuff, he, Took a sneak peek at what's inside. So take that thing, and then that screws on from this side or something. <laughs> from <laughs> this side. Oh yeah. All right. So let's see. Just see. What is that? So wait. How? Look, I, I can be incorrect. <laughs> it seems like there's supposed to be two of those. All right. So we found the missing piece. So we're looking for another one of these because they come actually on the side of the backrest. And we looked in all of the packaging and everything, and it wasn't there. So the only place it could have been is... <laughs> there. <laughs> so, all right. So we have the second piece. Uh, now let's quickly get the backrest on, which actually just looks, yeah. I think let's maybe do the feet first before it gets to anything. But I want a gym. <laughs> I'm gonna work on the muscles a bit. So these are wood. You guys can see we're already, well, some of the other reviewers have used them quite a bit. But I uh, have a screwdriver. Screw. Is the manual really It's the manual. All right, so there wow, we go. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's quite long. <laughs> all right, so. All right, so that goes in. Wait, show me how it goes in. Like that. <laughs> and then all right so next up just these ones here in the front all right so now next up we just need to slide these ones on inside here or where yeah so inside you have these little 
slots that you just slide down here onto the chair. Open the flap. Open the flap. All right, so. There we go. And both are in. This one hasn't clicked yet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then we just hide the back. And then you close the flap. All right, so next up we have our two side supports. This one just slides in on this side. So do make sure that they are on the right side. And that's it. And then the next one on this side. Excited I'm pretty excited. I'm actually I've looking forward to trying this one out. <laughs> Let's just move it to that side. Take like our first sit. Oh, it's actually really nice. It's bouncy. I told you it's bouncy. bouncy. That's a bit low for me so far. So we're gonna sit in for a while, try it out, and then give you guys our full experience but push back with your back. There we go. let's see how far did it go but can it do this <laughs> but can it do this yes it can <laughs> it's actually really nice so far the only complaint that i have is that you can't adjust this piece it's a bit too low so my shoulders should actually be below this and it's against it so that's so far the only plant that I have. We'll still see. I know some people said that the armrest is a bit too thin, narrow. So but we'll, arm on there? we'll try it out and see. I don't think it'll be too narrow, but I think this thing will hurt after a while. It's fine so far. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to try it out for a while and actually give you guys our full experience. Same with the armor and armor <laughs> right there. So yeah, see you guys in a few days. All right, so I've been using uh, both of these over the weekend for a bit. This one uh, at the gaming desk and this one in the living room, which we kind of changed. So got a new 65 inch TV because the other one died. <laughs> so we kind of needed to get a nice upgrade, but it actually worked out quite well. Uh, it's still a bit um, messy. Still need to get like a, a, a plasma unit and all of that for, for the TV. It's currently just standing on a desk which yeah, it doesn't look too great. But anyway, um, so the Titan Pro and the Ranger. Now the Titan Pro, again, it's kind of a really big chair. So we are going to do reviews on both of these, but I just quickly want to give you guys a little overview of both of them. And then um, and again, in the full review, we're going to go over everything a bit more in detail, what we like, what we don't like, and some improvements that they can add potentially for the next versions or whatever. But anyway, um, so the Titan Pro, again, is a massive chair. So it's we actually get uh, got one of our friends over, which is a bit more of a bigger guy, and he actually enjoyed this chair a lot more. Because if you compare a standard gaming chair like this MSI one compared to... The Titan Pro, you can see the difference. It's so, so much larger. If I sit in just a normal gaming chair, it's a lot more or a lot more squeezed in. Uh, it's a tighter fit. So for me, it's all fine. Uh, I'm not too big necessarily. I'm 6'1", but it's nothing too big really. But if you move on towards this one, you can just feel there's so much more space. So if you're a bit of more of a smaller guy, then it might feel a bit too big so for instance your armrests are quite far apart if again if you're a smaller um, um, but you do have a lot of space if you want to put your legs on you can do that uh, if, if you want to like cross leg you'll be able to do that actually on this uh, chair now i'm not too crazy about the lumbar support but if you do like that you can use it otherwise i'll, I'll just remove it same goes for the headrest. I'll just remove it anyway. But the material is really nice. Uh, the uh, leather with the more velour um, cloth style. That's actually really nice and uh, soft. And it's a bit hard to sit. at uh, a harder foam. But I actually quite like that. I don't want the complete softest material 
if you're sitting at the desk for hours and hours on end. So actually quite nice. And also I'm actually quite impressed with the wheel. So these ones do, they look the same, but I feel like this one does get caught on the stuff a lot more or a lot easier. This one is actually quite a bit smooth. So you can move around a lot easier. And also on the carpet, it actually didn't have any problems there, which usually the more plastic style wheels do actually have. So yeah, not bad at all. Again, going over everything in the full review. Now let's move on towards the gaming sofa, which again, I'm not too fond of the lumbar support, but you do have that. So over the weekend, I actually really enjoyed my time using the Ranger because it's got this one is again nice and hard this one is nice and soft so if you're more of a console gamer or you just want to sit and watch some uh, movies then uh, this is definitely going to be that for you because it can go out so you can enjoy your time actually on friday uh most of that i was spending on the chair doing my work on the laptop didn't have any problems there and it was again really comfortable uh, now i did think that the uh, armrest would be a bit too narrow but it's actually not bad at all but what would have been great but not the biggest problem one thing that i'll just mention is that i would have liked if it had like a cup holder or something where you can put your drinks because otherwise you have to go down or if you do have a little side table you can use uh, that but yeah just some extra stuff that they can add to make it better but if you want to take a nap <laughs> you can do that as well nice and cozy right there um so we can some play a bit of games as well and just enjoy ourselves but so far i'm really enjoying both the ranger and uh, the uh, titan pro again a bit more for here just playing some dirt because i Kind of really suck with any shooting games so we can just play some racing games and that will be nice and fun from the last place so yeah if you guys just want a nice little sofa chair to game on and lose also um then yeah you can try out <laughs> it's so bad why am i sucking so much uh but yeah so a nice little so if they can play with your controller and consoles and then of course the uh, titan pro or more again uh, at the desk which i died controller doesn't want to connect that far <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it uh again both of these will have reviews out shortly so check that out and if you guys enjoyed the little more vlogging style on a boxing on both of these chairs let me know down in the comments below and if you did can like share subscribe and comment like always and i'm gonna enjoy myself on the new on the couch a bit so cheers guys